Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing, Silvio? I'm okay, teacher, and you? Um, well, nice, even okay. though it is raining, but is yeah, it? we're okay. We're okay. Uh -huh. Mm, kind of sad, <laughs> kind of sad because of the um, score of the match. Uh, did, did you see the match? It's bad, bad, bad. It's, yeah. it's, it's kind of it's sad. Football. Yeah, kind of sad. But what do you think? Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's short time for the for the uh, technical the uh, coach? technician the coach uh, 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 the coach yeah is, is a short time in, in the in the in the selector need more time to to, to join the, the team okay well but, but. next time will be next time <laughs> Yeah, next time it will be. Hello, Linda. Welcome. I saw you didn't make it yesterday. Hello, teacher. Hello. You didn't make it yesterday. How come? Are you okay? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, I go out. I went. Late. I went I out, went out uh, uh, late to my job. Oh, okay. Okay. And it so was raining I, uh, yesterday too, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. But I watched the video conference. Ah, oh, did you see it? Okay, great. Yes, and I watched the game. It was very <laughs> you nice missed and very it, funny. Linda, yay. <laughs> yes. You missed the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> did you have fun? Yeah, it was you pretty did. fun. Okay, you were like number two. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, nice to see you, and that's nice to have you back. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Carlos Eduardo, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Well, it's rainy here. Is oh, it okay? Again and again and again and again. Every night is raining here. Well, it's raining and the season, so signal we... the internet is bad. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, teacher. <laughs> yes, I can tell about that. I can tell. Yes, yes, it's raining, and I've got a problem. I was uh, telling Linda once that one time I said that I'm right near the front door in my house, okay? So uh, we've got this problem. It has a layer, okay? It has a layer, eh, y el balcón, verdad? O la protección. So between those things, it cries, right? Llora el agua ahí. So oh, I'm having problems with that because there is no way to fix it in these days. So we've got to wait to do that yeah so i am like this right <laughs> yeah because i have the ele electrical connections over here so it's kind of dangerous when that happens yeah <laughs> so well it's a part of of this job too okay hello karina how are you doing Hello, teacher. Fine. And you? Fine, too. And I'm glad to have you here in class. Today we are having a vocabulary review, okay? I, I, I think you will be excited also, okay? You will be um, transforming and writing and con uh, creating conversations. Okay, but let's start. Let's start with the feedback. Let's remember that yesterday we had an activity, okay? We had an activity. You remember about the questions? Yes, teacher, and we did all the questions, okay? We created all the questions, teacher. <laughs> yes, is it? Is it true? Mm. 
No, okay. Let's try to start with the conversation, okay? Vamos a hacer la conversación que teníamos el día anterior, el día de ayer, para comenzar, okay? Solo déjenme tomar la asistencia que Tencar ya cargó. So we're going to take the assist, I mean the attendance. And what date is it today, guys? Today is Okay, let's give the opportunity to Annie because she wants to say what date is today, okay? Today is uh, uh, September. September. Uh, I, I, no, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> the A. A. Uh, the A. The A. Mm -hmm. uh, two talks, talks and 21. Yes, Annie. Today is Wednesday, September the 8th of 2021. Okay, great. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Ana del Mierrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Uh, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Presente. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Presente. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. I'm glad you could make it, Nancy, okay? Okay, guys, uh, let's see. I'm going to share the screen with you with the conversation from yesterday, okay? From the last activity, and I need you to role play, okay? Just one second. I need you to role play and after that, try to ask further questions, okay? So let's start with Carlos Eduardo, please, with your classmate. Um, in, in this case, is our classmate. Yes, you're right. Okay. Uh, just with one, uh, it was Ana Cristina, no? Yeah. Yes. Yes? 
Yes. Kevin. And Kevin. Okay, let's start the first time only once. Right now, Carlos Eduardo and Ana Cristina. Okay. Okay. Comienzo. Okay. Thank you for calling Inter and Sister. My name is Cristina. Who um, are you speaking with? Hello, my name is Carlos Maldonado. Thank you, Carlos Maldonado. Tell me, how, how can I help you? Could you please give me more information about the model A71? I saw in adverti advertisement it has actually a 15% discount. I would like to order three if it is sold. It's like there is a 5% discount on that model. I'd be happy to assist you to process the charge order. Thank you, but I'd like to process it by myself online. No problem, no problem. Is there anything also you would like me to, to help you with? Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. What questions did you, um, did you make? I'm sorry, did you make? Did you make some questions yesterday? Okay, can you try with Kevin, Carlos Eduardo, please? Okay. Kevin, are you sir? Um, read the three pictures. Yes, the three questions. And this are your the three question, Kevin. Ah, sorry. Uh, um, <laughs> did, did the customer service agent polite every every time? Yes, I did. Yes, he did. Um. Okay, uh, esa pregunta es, was the customer service agent or representative uh, polite? Only that, was she polite? Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 What will be the answer? Yes, she was, or yes. no, she wasn't at all, right? Yes, he was. Okay. Um, Do you have other questions? Uh, Only that one, okay. <laughs> Maybe you tried um, just speaking, right? You had the idea and didn't write them down. Okay, no problem. Let's continue. Okay, this is the feedback. So please pay attention to the other groups or the other pairs to get the idea. Okay, Silvio, please, with your classmate, read the conversation. Okay. Pero así con entonación, ¿verdad? with intonation. Okay. Um... Anna. Inicio. Hi. Yes. Thank you for calling Integrate Systems. My name is Annie. How are you speaking with? Hello, my name is Silvio. Thank you, Silvio. Tell me how can how can I help you? Could you please give me more information about the models A71? I saw in advert an advertisement, it was actually a 50% discount. Uh, 
I would like to order three if it is so. It's so. It's correct. There is a fifty percent discount on the model. I be happy to assist you to process the purchase order. Thank you, but I like to process it by myself online. Oh, of course, no problem. Is there anything else you would like my, me to help you with? Okay, great. Solo ustedes dos trabajaron, sí, verdad? Sí, teacher. Yes. Okay, But ahora. I know uh, only no. <laughs> the, same, the same question, the, the, the group. The same question. Okay, Both. ask the same question then. Okay. Did a uh, customer service agent polite? Ahí sería was, okay? Okay. Was the customer service agent polite? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, I was. Yes, she yes, was. Yes, she was. Okay. Yes, yes. she was. Yes, she was. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only one. <laughs> okay, but thank you very Sorry. much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Juan Carlos, please, with your classmate. Role play the conversation and then you ask the questions that you made. Okay, con Carla Veronica. Uh, uh, Carla, are you there? Hello, hello. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. okay. Thank you for calling Integrate System. My name is Juan Carlos. Who am I speaking with? Hello, my name is Carla. Thank you, Carla. Tell me, how, how can I help you? Could you please give me more information about the model A71? I sell in advertisement it has actually a 50% discount. I would like to order three it, if it's so. It's correct. There is a 50% discount and on, the, on that model, I'd be happy to assist you to process your charge order. Thank you, but I would like to process it by myself online. Of course, no problem. Is there anything else you would, would like me to help you with? Great, great. Now, I want to hear if you uh, created some other questions, did you? Number one. Okay. Where did you get the information? Great, great. Carla, the answer? He get information about the model A71. Okay, where? Where it could be? Juan Carlos? Uh, yeah. I, uh, no, she, she saw in Albert, advertising. Okay. Where, where could she uh, see that advertisement? It could be on YouTube, it could in, be on in, TV. In, in, on, on internet. On the internet, okay, great, 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 thank you. Number two? Number two, why, why did he call the company? Okay, good. Carla, the answer?
Why? Why did he call? Um, because he gets more information about the model A71. Great, Carla. She, I'm sorry. Well, in this case, I, yeah, it was you, right? So she, in this case, right? She <laughs> wanted, right? She wanted more she want, information. Yeah. Uh, she wanted more information about the model A71. Great. Thank you very much, Carla. And do you have a third one? Juan Carlos? In number three, how was the agent's attention? Mm -hmm. How was the agent attention, Carla? He, he was polite. Okay, he was polite. Nice. Did he give you the complete information that you needed? Yes, he did. Okay, short answer. Cuando le preguntan sin una WH word, sin what, sin where, ni why, usted dice sí o no, porque solo dice did he, did she, okay? Did he give you the information you needed? Yes, he did, okay? Okay, there we are. Okay, guys, we are gonna stop. We are gonna stop this activity and we will start with the class for today, okay? Just let me open this other thing. Okay, we are studying the simple past, right? Unit three was about customer service. And today is our video conference number 15. And we have a review today, okay? A review. And also we are going to practice all the structures and the topics we studied in this unit, okay? The objective for tonight is that um, you will be able to prepare a conversation about the things you uh, did yesterday at home or at work using the simple past in all its forms correctly, okay? We're gonna make a conversation, okay? We did a little feedback and after call customer satisfaction survey, let's remember that we studied deed, okay? The use of deed for questions, yes, no questions, and information questions, so we remember that. Then we are going to have some written ex exercises right now, and then we are having some speaking exercise, okay? After that, you will have the opportunity to create the conversation we were talking about. And the session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is for Linda, okay? Linda's turn tonight. Okay, guys, let's start. By remembering, okay, we are going to recall the actions in the present tense. That's the first thing we are going to do. And let's imagine and let's think about the activities that a customer service uh, agent or representative uh is always doing okay um and also we are going to see some activities that the customer um the customers do when they call so let's see the actions and present tense okay this is present tense and let's remember the present tense what does a customer do what does a customer do What does a customer do? Todo lo que el cliente hace lo vamos a poner en esta columna. What does a company's representative do? Uh, so, 
lo vamos a poner en esta columna. Esta actividad ya la hicimos, ¿ok? So, estamos recordando el presente, ¿ok? So, let's remember. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Eso es contestar, right? Pick up the phone. So, the phone is ringing and you pick up the phone, ¿ok? Then, number two, understand. Number three, explain. Four, complain. Five, help. Six, request information. Seven, get prizes. Eight, provide one's information. Nine, assist. Ten, buy. Eleven, call and receive. Okay, so let's think. What does a customer do? Okay, let's start with this. This is present tense, okay? So the customer, the first thing he does is to call, right? What other thing does a customer do? Buy. Okay, what else? Good price. Good price. Good price. Okay. What else? Receive. Receive. Comply. Okay. Okay. We're going to write and then we're going to check. Okay. Complain. Mm -hmm. Help. Okay. Request. Request information. Okay. What does a company's representative do when they um have to? I see. Okay, assist to assist the client. Pick up the phone. I think it will be first. Explain. Mm -hmm. Provide one's information. Are you sure? Okay, you said provide. Provide. Okay, provide once information is dar su información. Okay, su inform por eso dice once. La información personal podría ser ahí. Okay, provide once information. Eso sería del costo. Okay, let's change it. Se puede, please change for help. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, request information. Request information. Uh huh. And then. Mm-hmm. Pick out the phone. Okay. Uh -huh. What else does a company's representative do when a customer call? Hmm? Could be also. Okay. It's in the customer system. Mm -hmm. Tra translate the customer to company representative. Excuse me, Carlos, I could barely hear you. Uh, is there a customer? It's translate to company representative. You want translation. Request information. Oh, okay, yeah. 
customer instead of the company's representative. Okay, so you want me to erase this from here? Okay. But what if the customer, I mean, the, uh, the, the company's representative asks for information, for example, about the purchase order or things like that? Okay. Well, let's let's move this like this, right? Okay. Now let's continue. ¿Cuáles son las razones que ustedes creen que son como las eh, razones por las que ustedes llamarían a servicio al cliente o la que un cliente llama a servicio al cliente? De las que tenemos acá, aquí hay bastante vocabulario de eso. Razones para llamar a servicio al cliente. Request information. Okay, request information. Mm -hmm. About the promotion or discount. Okay, about promotion, discounts, about the product, the features of the product, yeah. right? How it function or something like that. Help, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Get price. Great price. Price to get prizes. Uh huh. To get prizes. About the warranty. About the okay. warranty. Uh huh. Okay. So let's see. Explain, assist, help. He picks the phone up. And who has to understand? Who has to understand? The customer or the company's representative? The customer. Uh-huh. Customer. The customer. Okay. Ya no me caben en el customer, okay? Call, understand, okay. Let's see. Buy, call, receive, assist, help, request, get, prizes, provides information. Explain, who explains? Ah, uh, here, uh, okay. pick up the phone. Okay, there we are. We're gonna stop this like this, porque tienen razón en las situaciones que ustedes me están diciendo, okay? Uh, ahora, veamos entonces, si vamos a contar la historia de por qué razón llamó el cliente, okay. Why did the customer call? Why did the customer call? Entonces, pasemos a tiempo pasado los verbos que encontramos acá, okay? So, past tense of call. Cold. Cold. Okay, good. Past tense Cold. of understand. Understood. Understood. Okay. Did the customer understand? Did the com the customer understand? Oh yes, he understood everything. Okay, he understood everything I said. Okay, so what's the past tense of buy? Boat. Boat. Okay. What did you buy? What did you buy? Ah, uh, I bought a pair of shoes. Excuse me? It was Suleyma, right? Isn't she? Yes, I she? bought. Okay. okay, yes, I bought. Uh, get prizes. Get is the verb, so what's the past tense of that action? Got. Got prizes. Good. Receive? Received. Past tense? Received. Okay. Complain? Complained. Complained. Yeah. Complained. Yeah. Complained. Yes. Provide. Provide. Provided. Provided. Yeah. Provided. Request. 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 Requested, okay? Requested, 
past tense. Hey guys, I need you to focus on this, okay? Explain, did the customer representative agent explain what you needed? Explain. Yes, she explained, explained, okay? Assist, assist. Did she assist you with uh, your purchase? Assist. Past tense? Assisted. Great, Silvio. Help. Past tense? Help. 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 Okay. Like. Pick up the phone. Uh huh. Past tense of pick up. Así explosivo, picked, picked, okay? Explosivo, picked up, picked up, picked up, picked up, okay? Okay, now let's go then. One second. I'm going to erase this. Y ahorita vamos a ir a hacer unos ejercicios en... Los slides les he traído unos, unos ejercicios para que ustedes eh, lean, ¿ok? This is to read. Vamos a comenzar por imitar, ¿ok? Vamos a comenzar por imitar, leyendo y Um, escuchamos y leemos imitando, ¿ok? Vamos a agarrar uno, dos o tres de ustedes, ¿ok? Es el mismo que tenemos en el manual, ¿ok? Ok, yo le voy a dar play. I'm going to play the audio. And you are going to follow the reading, okay? You are going to read along. Así se llama cuando uno va leyendo y escuchando lo que está leyendo. O sea, le escuchando la lectura y leyendo, okay? Read along or reading along. Entonces, vamos a hacer esta práctica de reading along, okay? Y yo le voy a poner play y ustedes van leyendo, pero en voz alta, okay? En voz alta, con su micrófono apagado. Yo voy a estar viendo sus um, bocas que están leyendo en voz alta. Ok. There we go. Uh, let me see. I didn't, I didn't pick this. I didn't pick this option. One second. You ready? Ok. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Vamos a buscar llegar a la velocidad, okay? Vamos a, a buscar llegar a la velocidad. There we go. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay. Want to hear you guys? ¿Lograron dar un poquito más rápido la segunda vez? Was it yes, faster? Sir. Yes, sir. And the second time? Ok, hagamos la tercera vez y tratemos de llegar a la, un poquito a la velocidad, no quedarnos muy atrás. Ok, let's try. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. 
But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay. Was it better? Was it better now? Yes? Okay. Yes. We want to hear Linda, please. Can you read it? Okay. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have IC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, great. And you see the intonation. She, she was really angry, okay? She was mad at the company, right? Yeah, good. Now we want to hear, um, Nancy, please, can you read the email? Okay. Last week, I have the shame to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me and didn't have IC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considered not a traveling with you again because of the inconvenience in heart. Great, thank you very much, Nancy. You did a good job. Now, Giovanni Ramirez, please. Uh, last, last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it, it was a bad experience because the post that you assigned me, I didn't, I didn't have AC. It was a long trip. And the, and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Great, great, it's a good job. Okay, Annie, please. I made so cheeky, okay, ahorita, permítanme. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country, but to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the convenience I have. Great, Annie. Very good. Very good. Okay, guys. So now, can you tell me, please, the verbs in past tense that shows in this email? What verbs in past tense do you see? Had. Okay, had. Mm -hmm. Was. Was. Assigned. 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 Okay, okay. And she repeats a lot, was, was, okay. Why? Because cuando usamos nosotros el verbo be, okay, lo usamos como les decía eh, la, el primer día que iniciamos unit three, para describir o decir cualidades que tenía, ¿verdad? Describir usando adjetivos después del verbo be, okay? For example, do you see here was a bad, okay? Hay un adjetivo, okay? Un, está describiendo esta experiencia, okay? Vamos a ver el otro. Was a long, ah, es un adjetivo también, okay? Y el nombre que está describiendo es trip, okay? It was a long trip. Veamos el siguiente. And the bus, ajá. Uh -huh. Was, ¿y cuál es el adjetivo que vemos acá? Very slow. Very slow, correct. Ok, siempre que usamos el, ver, el verbo to be, eh, lo podemos utilizar, es uno de los usos para describir. Ok, to describe. 
So we use an adjective after they verb be, okay? In past tense, also in present tense, okay? But in this case, we are talking about the, the simple past. Okay, guys. Now, we're going to the next activity. This is a written sure. activity. I'm sorry? I, I have a question. Tell me. In, in the previous. The last one, okay. Mm -hmm. The, but to be honest, eh, it's an expression. Yes, it is an expression. Eh, es, ese normalmente se dice como a decir verdad o para ser honesto. Okay. Ah, por, por el to be, no, no hay poner, el, no usa el is o, o, el, o, el, o el, la, la forma del to be, por eso, por eso consulta. Se puede conjugar, sí, a veces sí está conjugado en las expresiones. Por ejemplo, cuando le estoy explicando, ok, to be honest, this and this and that, right? For example here, to be honest with you, es toda la frase, ok? To be honest with her or with uh, my boss, whatever, right? Pero yo le puedo decir también explicándole, I'm honest with you, ok? Uh -huh. uh, también lo puede conjugar en otros tiempos a futuro, uh, diferente, ok? Pero lo más que va a encontrar, lo más común es to be honest with you, ¿ok? Para, porque estamos platicando de tu a tu, ¿ok? Sí. Yeah. Pero sí, lo va a encontrar también conjugado, ¿ok? Now, let's go to this. Ahora vamos a leer, vamos a ver. We are going to read these sentences. What are we, are we um, seeing here? Is that we have a contraction, didn't, to say the negative, right? It's the same as we say did not. Acuérdense cuando queremos dar un énfasis, no lo decimos didn't, ¿verdad? Depende de qué es lo que queremos enfatizar. Si le, lo negativo es lo que quiero enfatizar, entonces yo puedo decir did not. Ok, separado, ok, y puedo decirlo más suavemente, I didn't, ok, o si le hago el énfasis, I didn't get, ok, énfasis menorcito, ok, que did not, ok, are we okay with this? Ok, now let's read number one, I gotta work on time, I gotta work on time, ok, I gotta work on time. Veamos cómo sería en negativo. Aquí es, llegué al trabajo, pero a tiempo, ¿ok? Llegué al trabajo a tiempo, ¿ok? Pero si llegué tarde. Uh -huh. I didn't get to work on time. Thank you very much. Do you see uh, the form of the negative in the simple past tense is didn't and the verb in the base form, okay? Y no cambia para ninguno, miren, no cambia para ningún sujeto. Si se fijan, I, she, they, he, we, y todos tienen, miren, didn't, no cambia. ¿Verdad? En presente sí cambia. Tenemos don't and doesn't. ¿Ok? Pero en el pasado solo usamos didn't para todas las personas. Ok, let's see the next one. Can you please read the next one, um, Karina? She had lunch with some important clients. Ok, good. Now, can you please read the negative, Nancy? She didn't have a lunch with any import client. Okay. Ven, ¿cuáles son los cambios en el negativo? Just you. Okay. En el positivo, ¿utilizamos qué? Some, ok. Some. Y el verbo está en pasado simple, ¿verdad? Ahora acá, el verbo acompañado de didn't va en, en forma base y tenemos 
any. Miran acá, en el negativo ya no vamos a utilizar some, vamos a utilizar any. ¿Ok? Uh, hay situaciones en las que sí podríamos decir some, ¿ok? Pero usualmente cuando vamos a decir un negativo, vamos a utilizar any, ¿ok? Tengamos esto en mente. Ok, let's see. They opened the store. They opened the store. What's the negative for that sentence, Carlos Roberto? They didn't open the store. Ok, great, great. Now, let's see, Suleyma, next one. I checked my event. Okay, checked, checked. I checked my uh -huh. event. Okay, now the negative, Suleyma. I didn't check my meeting, my, my event. Email. Event. Okay. Now, Carla, please, next one. Yes. We call it blind. Cold. Cold. Blind. Okay, and then in the negative, Carla? We didn't call blind. Great. Next one, please, Mr. Pineda. He wrote, wrote the report. Okay. He didn't write the report. Thank you. Now let's see, um, Kevin. No se me esconda, Kevin. My boss organized the meetings. Uh -huh. My boss didn't organize the meetings. Okay. El, excellent. A ver, ¿cómo pronunciamos este ED aquí que tenemos una Z al final? Organized. Organized. Hola. Como que fuera una T, ¿ok? A ver, Kevin. My boss organized the meetings. Ok, and the negative again, please. My boss didn't organize meetings. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. Here we've got... Miss Linda, please. I attended the meeting. Okay. I didn't attend the meeting. Thank you very much. Okay, now we know positive and negative, okay? Now we go to do this, okay? A further question, okay? Vamos a buscar, vamos a crear una pregunta de acuerdo a esta pregunta, ¿ok? Que pueda continuar o seguir la conversación, ¿ok? Para indagar más información, para ampliar o explicar la información, como estábamos haciendo ayer, ¿ok? So, let's see. Because yesterday we were talking about the further question. Remember? Ok. So, the example here. Did you get on time to work? Did you get on time to work? La respuesta de esto es, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, right? Pero póngale que me dice, did you get on time to work? Yes, I did. ¿Cuál sería la siguiente pregunta? What time did you get to work? Okay. ¿Sí se comprende? Yes? Okay. Let's read next one. Did she have lunch with some important clients? ¿Cuál sería una pregunta que aclare o de, busque más información? Request more information. Where did... Where did... Uh -huh. She have lunch? Okay. With. <laughs> With them? Podríamos decir. Okay. With the important clients, right? 
Entonces, some important clients, podemos reducirlo a them, ellos, ¿verdad? Them. Ok, next one. Did they open the store? What question can we ask? What time did open the store? Okay. Okay. So next one, did you check your email? Mm -hmm. Why did you check your email? Okay. What did you? Okay. Okay, veamos. Si por ejemplo me dice, did you check your email? Okay. Yo le digo, yes, I did. Yeah. Y me preguntan después, why did you check the email? Right? Why did you check the email? Okay. Well, let's see. Did you call clients? Did you call clients? ¿Cuál sería una pregunta que siguiera en esa conversación? Why did you call client? Ok, el de Carlos Eduardo era primero, when did you call? Right? They also look clients. Okay. And the next one is why did you call the clients? Okay. Good. Okay. Let's continue. Did he report? Our, uh, I'm sorry. He, no. Did he wrote? Right. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, there is a mistake over there, right? Yay, yay. Okay, this is from the last thing. Okay, there we are. Did he write the reports? Una pregunta que continúe la conversación. Aquí es right, guys. Es en vez de esta O, es una I, okay? What question can we ask? Let's talk about the reports, right? I, th I think when did uh -huh. he sends the report? Okay. Okay, there you are. ¿Alguien tiene otra pregunta? Teacher, en this uh -huh. case, um, um, I'm not sure. Uh -huh. I use when or what time, como para decir, ¿lo escribió o cuándo lo, lo va a enviar o, o, o lo envió? No sé si es when o what time. Es when, es when. Ah, okay. Ajá. Okay. Pero si usted quiere saber una, una información específica, o sea, si usted está preguntando cuándo lo envió, ¿ok? Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo? Ahí podrían contestarle la hora y el día, pero si no le dijeron la información que usted quería de when, ¿ok? Last week, uh -huh. right? For example. Pero usted necesita saber a qué horas last week, ¿ok? O qué okay. día last week, ¿correcto? Entonces ahí sí podemos decir what time, what date. Right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other question to add in here? No? 
Yes. Okay, let's continue with the next one. It says, did my boss organize, aha, uh -huh, another, you see? Mistake. Did my boss organize the meetings? When his boss organized the meeting. When? Did you say that? When or where? When, okay. when he bought. Aha. ¿Qué utilizamos acá? El auxiliar, ¿verdad? What's the auxiliary here? When did. Okay. Did my boss mm -hmm. organize? No, organize. Organize, organize the meetings. Okay. Tienen alguna otra pregunta o solo esta con when? Oh, teacher, y podría ser también una que sea como what I did. Okay, great. Is the first meeting. Okay. Correct. What time? El auxiliar iría después de time verbo. What time? Uh -huh. What time did? Uh -huh. Is the meeting? Is the first? No, is the first meeting. Okay. Aquí tendríamos que decir así. Mire. What time did my boss? Okay. Oh. What time did my boss okay. organize organ, organize the first meeting? Okay. First meeting. Okay. Thank you. Okay. There you are. Okay, next one. Did you attend the meeting? ¿Qué otra cosa le pregunta a su compañero? Que, hey, fuiste a la reunión vos. ¿Y qué es lo primero que le preguntan a uno? ¿Y de qué hablaron vos? Right? <laughs> is it or isn't it? Huh? Okay, hagamos esa pregunta en English. What did they uh, say, say in the meeting? What did they say? Okay, good. That's a very good one. What did they say in the meeting? Okay. Podríamos utilizar otro verbo también. What did they talk? about, okay? Podríamos usar el otro verbo, right? What did they tell? What did they tell you, okay? But, um, la pregunta que normalmente nosotros hacemos es, hey, ¿y de qué hablaron? Es como, what was it about, okay? What was it about? Ahí ya utilizaríamos el be, okay? What was it about? Okay. Así como más práctica, ¿verdad? Did you attend the meeting? What was it about? Okay. We okay with this? ¿Cómo vamos hasta aquí? Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay?
It's nine and six minutes. So I'm going to take the attendance for the second time, okay? Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Hello, Ana Delmi. I'm glad to hear you here. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Presente. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio. ¿A quién no dije? A Giovanni Ramírez. Ok, Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Now, um, Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Okay. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Um, Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ok, antes de seguir, eh, ahora es miércoles, por lo que tenemos que dejar finalizado después de la clase nuestra última tarea de la unidad 3. Ok, y les quiero pedir de favor. Eh, que recuerden que solo nos falta ya la unidad 4, por lo que tenemos que estar presentes todos los días, los 120 minutos. Hagamos por favor el esfuerzo, porque ahorita ya no podemos darnos el lujo de faltar, más los que ya faltaron dos ocasiones o se han conectado tarde, por favor, o se han tenido que salir por X razones. Eh, esta semana, por favor, por favor, procuren no faltar para que su attendance score eh, se nivele y podamos eh, pasar el curso, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que es uno de los aspectos de aprobación. Es uno de los requerimientos de INSAFOR, ¿ok? Aparte, pues, de las tareas, ¿verdad? Uh, ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Do you have any question? No questions? Okay. Let me reach this page. One second. It's Okay, here we are. This is, page, this is uh, page 37, and we have to complete these words or these phrases, okay? They are right in the present tense, so you can do it. So what do you think is the first one? Este es el proceso de lo que hace el customer y lo que hace el customer representative, okay? Pero están en un solo listado, así que vamos a ver. Which one is the first one? 
A ver, todos entrando por favor a la, a la pantalla y eh, agarre rápido una y la hace, ¿ok? A ver, al que la gane más rápido. And then Giovanni are like this. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, Linda, me. No, Giovanni, me. <laughs> number four, guys, number four. Something about the prices. Okay, good, good. Yes, number 12, thank you. Okay, there you are. Uh-huh, good. Ok, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? Vamos a ver. Juan Carlos va a escoger cualquiera de esas y va a hacer la mímica, ¿ok? Nos va a hacer la mímica de una de esas y nosotros vamos a adivinar. We are going to guess, ¿ok? Juan Carlos, escoja cualquier acción de esas y... Nos hace la mímica, ¿ok? Ajá, miran a Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, hágalo, vamos a dejar de, de, de compartir, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, Juan Carlos, haga la mímica. Pick up the phone. Okay, great. Now, Carlos Alberto, please choose one and mime it. Do the mimic. Hello, Giovanni. He's singing. Okay, there you are. Okay, Carlos Alberto, go ahead. I need information. I need information about this phone. Okay, it's not a mimic, but okay, let's see. Uh -huh. What is he doing? Or what did he do? Uh-huh. He said something. Uh-huh. It's what is it? Uh-huh. Complain. Complain? Are you complaining? Request information. Yes, Linda, there you are. Okay, now Linda, please do the mimic. Call. Call. 
Great, great. And now, Silvio, please do the mimic. Get prize. Get prizes, yes. Now, let's see, Karina, do the mimic. <laughs> no, that that is not. <laughs> Pick up the phone. Okay, okay, that's the easiest one. Okay, let's see. Annie, please do the mimic of one of those actions. Bye. Bye, is it okay, bye? No, she says no. Good price. Yes. Price. Okay, good prizes. Kevin, please do the mimic. Are you doing something with your hands? Kevin? Está haciendo algo. Ah, oh, okay. There you are. Explain. Explain. No. Okay. No. Pick up the phone. Complain. Request okay. information. Help. It's help. Son mm. de Carlos. De, ¿Cómo dijiste? Help. Mm. Help. Oh, no. No, okay. Do Assist. it again, Kevin. Do it again. Receive. Understand. Oh, receive. That is why he did like yeah. this, right? He uh, he did. Where is the camera here? Okay. He did this and then this, right? So it's kind of receive. Okay, good, good. So let's see. Nancy, please do the mimic of one of those actions. Bye. Receive. <laughs> oh. Taking away everything. <laughs> Stealing. No. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, guys. I, I don't get it. It's Ana Delmi. What do you see Nancy's doing? It's a bye. Ah, bye. Did you say bye? Who said bye? Ah, Linda said bye. Yeah, you didn't hear. Okay, okay. Punto para Linda. Okay, good. Ana Delmi, please do the mimic of one action. Great, great, great. Guess, everyone, guessing, guessing. Get information. Help. 
Open your mic and tell us. Assistant. Assist, okay, assist. Uh, okay, okay. Pero creo que Ana Delmi, assist, lo que significa assist es atender al cliente, ok? Assist es atender al cliente, ok? No es asistir, asistir sería attend, ok? Asistir de llegar a un lugar, pues, ese sería attend. Ahora, assist es como servirle al cliente. Ok. Atención como cliente. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. Ok, guys, let's continue with the <coughs> manual because we have other exercises over there to do. Ok. And now, I want you to think about how can you describe, describe the satisfaction and how can you describe satisfaction? For example, how can you qualify a product? So let's go to the page 37 and there we have a list, okay, a list. And we're going to look for some adjectives, okay? Some adjectives to show satisfaction and dissatisfaction about a product, okay? Carlos Eduardo, can you tell me an adjective showing satisfaction? Cuando el cliente está satisfecho, ¿qué le dice a usted en un adjetivo? ¿Cómo describe eso bueno, eso bonito, eso hermoso? ¿Ok? Let's talk about the product or let's talk about the, the service, right? Tell me. Uh, the product I like, like. Okay, you are saying this, this is a verb, okay? Esto es una acción, gustar es una acción. Entonces, un adjetivo es una palabra que califica. Por ejemplo, satisfac satisfaction, por ejemplo, de un producto, nosotros decimos, ese sí es buen producto. Mm. Es excelente el producto. Buenísima calidad. ¿Cómo decimos eso en inglés? High quality. Ok, great. Uh -huh. Ok, another showing satisfaction. Excellent service. Great. A good price. Good. Good performance. Very good, thank you. Okay. Uh, good performance. Uh-huh. Tell me. Perdí mi listening and me active listening, guys. Okay. What did you say? Did you say something, Linda or Nancy? Very can thank you. Very, very, como se dice amable, very polite. Uh -huh. okay. Polite. Good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, we will say very polite. Mm -hmm. Very satisfied. Okay, very satisfied. Okay. Another? Can you write it on the chat, uh, Carlos Eduardo? Because I can barely hear you. Very satisfied. And then did you say something, Carlos Eduardo?
Ok, ¿tienen algún otro mostrando satisfacción? Acerca de un producto o de un servicio. Chip. Chip, ok. A ver, chip tiene dos eh, concepciones, ok. Algo chip puede ser, hey, qué chévere, because it is cheap, ok. Pero si se dice en un contexto en el que usted pagó un precio mayor a lo que recibió, no le quedó muy bien, puede ser de insatisfacción, porque puede decir, usted me vendió esto tan barato, ¿ok? So, va, esto es algo barato, pero en una eh, negative uh, exception, ¿ok? Así que chip también puede ser algo de mala calidad, ¿ok? A very good price. Excellent. We have here good prices, so we are going to add very, ¿ok? Excellent, Ana Delmi. Okay. Very efficient. Good. Let's remember very efficient. Okay. Very efficient. Okay, now let's say dissatisfaction things that we didn't approve, we didn't like, it was uh, uh -huh. very bad. Okay. Low quality. Great, bad, and very bad. Okay. Low quality. Low quality. What else? Very simple. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Giovanni. Very simple can also mean que estaba bien porque los pasos eran fáciles de seguir, ¿ok? Y podemos también verlo como usted me dio algo simple y pss, no era así, pues, ¿verdad? Lo que yo quería, right? So, puede ser con las dos acepciones, ¿ya? Yeah? Depending on the context, ¿ok? Depending on the context. Ok, what else? Very dissatisfied. Ok. Uh -huh. very, very expensive. Okay. Uh -huh. Poor. Poor, yes. Uh -huh. Aquí podríamos decir poor um, service or product, okay? Poor attention. Yes, okay. So we are going to say only poor, okay? Porque le podemos poner cualquier, eh, referirnos con, así, poor a diferentes cosas, okay? What else? About the product. About the product. I could barely hear. Very poor the product. Okay, yes, poor, right? Poor. Uh huh. Great. Bad service. Okay, we have very bad here. We could say bad service, bad product. Okay, another, another. Thank Remember, you. go to the conversations, and there you have some adjectives. Yeah, big discount. Ah, discount. You said discounts. Okay. Uh huh.
Aquí también podemos poner superlativos como, como me dice, very bad, podríamos decir the worst I've ever bought, right? So, worst, lo peor, okay? Worst. Mm -hmm. Another. It expired. 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 Okay, expired. Uh -huh. Defective. Defective. Uh -huh. Failure. Failure. Okay. Aquí hay muchos uh, que podemos decir nosotros acerca de estar insatisfecho, ¿verdad? Cuando un cliente está insatisfecho, normalmente lo que va a calificar es el producto, el servicio o directamente a la persona que lo atendió, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, cuando utilizamos el verbo be, okay, usamos estas palabras. Was very bad. The product was low quality or, or, or a low quality product. Oh, it was very simple, okay? I was very dissatisfied with this attention, okay? Uh, the product was very expensive. I paid too much, okay? Uh, we could say, for example, it was a poor service, okay? It was a poor quality, it, uh, like low quality, right? But poor quality about functioning, right? Or yeah, functioning, what the product is for. And uh, it was the worst experience in my life in that store, for example, right? Uh, this product I bought, it was expired, okay? This product was defective. Uh, there was a failure. Aquí a failure es un nombre. Este no es un adjetivo, okay? Este es un nombre, un noun, okay? It was a failure, something like that, okay? Okay, guys, I'm going to stop sharing this. And it's 9.34, so we have six more minutes to do the last thing here. Now, please transform these sentences into positive, into positive, okay? A ver. Number one. She did buy that computer. That computer. Otra vez, Giovanni. She did buy that computer. Okay, cuando pasamos a positivo, oh. ya no usamos did, okay? ¿Qué es lo que usamos? El verbo en el tiempo pasado. Okay, ¿cuál es el pasado de buy? Bought. Okay. Bought. Bought. That. Compute. Okay. Next one. We, we brought we bring brown the packet. Back brown packet. Okay, number three. The client called just a call. Color. Number four. The employees read the agreement. Okay, next one. Our boss, Our boss come came back, back last, last week. week. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, next one. They cancel the meeting. Um, 
¿Puede alguien chequear si es con doble L o con una L canceled? Number seven, guys. Teacher, the second, the bear. Broad. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and number seven. The lady is complying. The lady? Wanted to comply. Okay. Next one. Past tense of thin. I stand the reform. <laughs> okay. I stand the reef. The reform. Ooh. Uh huh. To this e. You may say. Okay, I send a refund to this email. Good. Now we have to create some. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Do you have any question about this? No questions. No. Okay. I erase them. And we have to create questions, information questions using the verb given. Then you have to ask the questions and write the answer. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms, okay? Y estas preguntas van a ser la conversación que ustedes van a crear, okay? ¿Cómo? Cosas que han hecho en esta semana o ayer o la semana pasada, okay? Eso es lo que van a preguntar. Eh, actividades que ustedes realizan en su trabajo, pero que ya las hicieron, okay? You did it. For example, if you attend a meeting, right? So create a question, information question using the verb given, but in the simple past, okay? So do you remember, did you attend the meeting, right? When did you attend the meeting? Got it? ¿Sí? ¿Cómo sería la respuesta de ese? I attended a meeting on Monday, right? Or last Monday. ¿Correcto? ¿Alguna pregunta? Do you have any question acerca de lo que vamos a hacer? Vale, les voy a decir. Les pregunto dos veces para que cuando ya pasemos al salón, al, allá con su compañero, no perdamos esos 30 segundos o el minuto o dos minutos pensando qué es lo que íbamos a hacer, ¿ok? Sino que vamos directo a la actividad. ¿Sí o no? ¿Qué les pasa? Vea que a veces sucede, ¿sí? Va, entonces por eso les pregunto, ¿qué vamos a hacer en esta actividad? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? A realizar con los verbos que están ahí. Correct. Vamos a crear information questions, pero basados en qué tema? ¿Cuál, acerca de qué vamos a hacer esas preguntas? Basado. Uh, uh, satisfaction. satisfaction. Trabajo. Acerca de cosas que hacen en su trabajo. Actividades. Sure. Ajá. 
usando el did o, o, o el W question? So, Como whatever. usted quiera, pero ahí dice information question in the simple past. Ok. Así que si le sale una further question en was y where, está bueno también. Ok. Ahí dice information questions. Using did, right? Mm -hmm. Try question. to use did. Question and answer. Of course, porque es una plática con su compañero. Okay? okay. There you are. So let's uh, let's try to do this in 10 minutes. Okay? So let's start. Ok, iniciamos con la primera. Primera, tú, si no me recuerdo. Ajá. Questions. What do you do in your job? <laughs> What do you do así? <laughs> In work, en el trabajo. Ajá, en el trabajo. In work. What do you do in your, in your, in your work? Remember that you have to use simple past tense. Uh -huh. <laughs> simple past tense, utilizando did. ¿Verdad? Oh. What, what, say, what did? What did? What did you was 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 do you do you uh -huh. in your world what do you in the world mm -hmm. ¿Qué hiciste en tu trabajo? Vale. Acuérdense cómo es la estructura. ¿Cómo es la estructura de las pre preguntas de información? Vamos a ver. El verbo que tenemos que usar es do, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué inicia la pregunta? ¿Con qué inicia? ¿Con qué palabra inicia? Con una, pre una pregunta como what o where, o when, ¿ok? Entonces, comenzamos. Ustedes quieren decir qué hiciste, ¿ok? So, yes. what, es la primera did palabra. You. Exactly. <laughs> did you, what? Do. What did, did you do? Y usted le puede decir un día anterior, right? For example, yesterday. In your job. Okay? Okay. So what did you do in your job? What did you do in your work? Mm -hmm. um, I was. I was in the meeting. 
I no podría podría decir. ¿Qué es? Uh -huh. I, um... Ahí tiene bastante vocabulario en lo que hemos estado viendo. Hay bastantes verbos que puede usar. Ok, Ay, puede ya. decir. ¿Qué quiere decir, Kevin? What do you want to say? I did, did attend um, clients, clients. Ok, I assisted clients. Ah, ahí, ahí. Acuérdese Asiste. que vamos a decir el verbo en cuando respondemos, lo decimos ya de una sola vez en pasado, ya no utilizamos did en la respuesta, solo en la pregunta se usa did, en la respuesta ya no se necesita, en la respuesta solamente que fuera negativo ponemos didn't, didn't. pero si es una acción que usted va a decir que la hizo en, en un tiempo pasado, entonces solo dice el verbo en pasado. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces sería I, I assist, assist, assisted assisted clients. Clients. Ok, yes. good. Good. Uh -huh. I'm going to another room, guys. Continue. Ok, teacher. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Um, no, I didn't buy a book. Okay. No, I didn't. No. Where do you work? No, where did, sorry, did you work? No, I don't know say. Okay. okay. What I... do you want to say? Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> hello, did you? <laughs> what do you want to say in your question? What do you want to know? I know, I want to know the place where. Uh -huh. Where he, what? he he work. Okay. Uh, I work. Okay, but where did he work yesterday? Right. Right. Okay. Where did you work yesterday? Okay. Uh -huh. Where did you work yesterday? Yesterday. Where did you work yesterday? Okay. I work I work in home yesterday. Um, just, okay. Mm. What did you say? I'm sorry, Giovanni. Uh, I work in uh -huh. home yesterday. I can barely hear income or what did you say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I work work in home yesterday. Oh, in home. I'm sorry. Okay, now I got it. I'm sorry. It was my bad because I couldn't hear you very well. Okay, there you go. Okay. okay. Next question. D did you read mm. 
Okay. Did you read the email? Son positivas y negativas. The email. Um, yes, I did. Okay. Remember, we are trying to create information questions. Okay. Okay. Do you see in the instructions over there? It says create. I remember if I don't, I mean, if I'm not wrong, it says create information questions using the verbs in parentheses or something like that. Okay. Okay, information. Do you remember what, when, why, how? Okay, guys, I'm going to another group, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, entonces... Viene a teacher, preguntémosle. Teacher. Hello, tell me. Hello, teacher. Tenemos uh, dudas, teacher. Okay, <laughs> tell me, what is the question? The structure, the structure, the, mm -hmm. the question. And pass simple with uh, information. Question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is correct. This, this one? Where did yes. you go? Yes, last week. Uh, no usamos da, pero <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Where uh, did no. you go the last week? Yes, yes, pero okay. sin da. Oh. Solo así. Where did you go last week? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. The first one. When did they do the practice? Yes, it's correct. Two fours is correct. Yes, both. Because you say do, oh. and then you say go, and you use the same oh, structure, right? Okay. Oh, okay. W-H okay. word plus D plus the subject plus oh, okay. the yes. complement. Yes. De, okay. De, de, de lo que no me teacher. Okay. De, 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 thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. 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 Entonces sería, well, I'll do, verdad? Well. Ya tenemos entonces una. Well, did they, ah, no, vamos a poner no, lo que no, hacemos. Two, two questions. Yes. O sea, esta es la pregunta. Dime tú uh -huh. la respuesta. Yes, 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 I did. No, it's not. No, yes, no question. It's information question. Uh, the question is when. When. Uh -huh. Monday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday. Ah, okay. Yes. Um. Tuesdays. Complete the answer then the uh, uh, day to the practice on y ya lo ponemos. Pero como es en pasado, tenemos que pasar los verbos al, al pasado, porque aquí es una sentence. Sí. Practice. Practice. No do. They did. Right? Did. Uh -huh. did. Did. Ah, uh -huh. uh, Okay. Did this sería this day? Yes, teacher. No, no they, they did. They did. They did. Mm -hmm. The practice. The practice. Huh? Simple. Yes, but when? Ahí no ha contestado todavía. Le falta el complemento. A complement. Did they practice eh, on, on Thursdays? Okay, they did the practice on Thursday. Mm -hmm. On Thursdays? Yeah, or last Thursday. You on can last say Thursday. on Thursday or last Thursday. Mm -hmm. They did the practice on last Thursdays. Correct. Is the uh, answer, no? Yes. Okay. Se conectó, Carlos. Mm. He got disconnected. Yeah. 
<laughs> Pero ya casi es la hora. So we go to the main room, Annie, okay? Y a mí se me está <laughs> recargando. <laughs> Yeah, but we are almost done because we have only two minutes, so we are going to take the attendance in the main room, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Monday, the Wednesday to the practice. Okay, people, the first question, the first question, please, Giovanni. Giovanni Pineda, I'm watching you right here. I'm sorry. Uh, I always forget that I have two Giovannis. Okay. 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 Uh, Karina, what did you do yesterday? I made accounting books okay. uh, only only the first okay yeah only the first one only the first one okay let's remember that it is 10 o'clock right now so i'm going to take the attendance thank you very much guys uh today's turn it was for linda linda are you staying no teacher no? sorry okay we have this space available who wants this turn, this opportunity, guys? What was that? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I've got my two babies right uh, beside me, okay, next to me here, and they're doing their things here, <laughs> okay. Okay, then no one is going to stay, uh, ju just let me take the attendance and we finish, one second. I oh, know we took it, right? No, we didn't. We can find it out. Where is it? Did I close it? No. Creo que usaremos el método eh, anterior, porque cada vez que pulso sobre eso, me abre otra ventana, me abre otra ventana, se ha quedado trabado. Entonces, por favor, pónganme en el WhatsApp. Presente, 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 y yo lo tomo. La nota, ok. El que no ponga el, el presente ahí, pues no lo pongo, ok. Así que todos pónganme ahí presente. El chat Zoom, no tengo el WhatsApp ahorita. Uh, ¿Me lo pone otro ratito? Sí. Ok. Cuando okay. Salgamos, ya ven, le doy, le pulso algo y me vuelve a abrir otra ventana. Así que gracias a Dios que no me ha hecho esto con el Zoom. There we are. 
Okay, guys, then no one wants to stay with me 10 more minutes. So you should have a good rest and remember to do your homework. We have to, we have to finish today until homework number 15 from unit three, okay? If you have any question, please let me know through the chat. You can tell me through WhatsApp, okay? A direct message or if you want to text in the chat, in the group chat, okay? And let's do it together too if you have a question, okay? Okay, guys, then have a good rest and let us meet tomorrow. Tomorrow, bye bye. Teacher. Kiss me. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, yo voy a repasar la clase porque me, me sacó tres veces el sistema. Ok, you want to stay. Ajá, y le voy a terminar la tarea porque me incorporé ya tarde hoy. Oh, ok. Ok. okay. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Good night. Uh, aren't you staying with me? Suleima? Suleima. No, solo le estaba explicando por qué me salí tres veces. O sea, me desconecté. Ok, pero okay. yo pensé que me estaba diciendo que se iba a quedar un ratito o sea, porque no hay no, nadie no, no, que no. se iba a quedar. Ok. Ah, no, es que lo que pasa es que tengo que repasar la clase para, para hacerle las consultas. Si no, yo la busco en el chat. Ok, no problem. Thank no you. No problem. Teacher. Go ahead. Bye. Ok, have a good night. Good night.